In today's video, we're gonna be checking out some of your guys' incredible low poly builds. Let's just jump right into it. Now, if you guys wanna be in any of these videos in the future, I do them about once a week, and you just gotta join the Discord server and uh, post it when I make an announcement. Anyways, to start things off, looks like we have a little bit of a hat that looks pretty cool, a demon fedora. It does look like there's a bit of shading issues, which I'm pretty sure just happens when you don't have wads, maybe? I think that's what they told me. Anyways, it looks pretty good overall, man. I could definitely see this as something people would wanna buy i would just try to smooth out the horns a little bit since it's a very smooth model overall my favorite way to do like horns or literally anything with a bit of a curve is quite literally with a curve just grab a path like this go into edit mode and then you can make a little bit of a horn we're gonna grab these middle ones right here move those out to the side maybe move this one back in these out a bit more and of course you know if you have a reference this would be a lot easier but make your horn shape and then just go right over here profile move this up a little bit it. You could also just make this round and then you would just scale some things up So I'm gonna grab this one this one and this one do alt s to scale them up something like that And then the top one will do alt s and press zero now We have a bit of a horn shape of course the more time you spend and if you have a reference It'll turn out a lot better But this is my favorite way to make horns and then to make it an actual mesh Just right click convert to and mesh I think I'll give this one a six out of ten up next We have a little asset pack it seems all of this stuff does look good it all matches each other very well except it looks like you did shade smooth on this tree and maybe this one but not the rest or i guess auto smooth on the, these two trees but overall most of it does look like it matches and you have a good bit of stuff that a lot of asset packs are missing a bunch of different ways to do stumps trees rocks bushes etc a lot of them are just trees and rocks i think we're gonna give this one a seven up next we got got in ugc aka cricket guys cricket is one of those modelers that i just just feel like he takes a picture from Disney and uploads it and says he made it. Wait, that's not what happens. He's very talented. But when you look at his stuff, it just doesn't look 3D modeled. Like, it looks like a drawing, man. So, Cricket, uh, it, as always, 10 out of 10. This stuff is incredible. Ah, uh, man. Maybe, maybe someday. Maybe someday I'll just get a little bit better. But 10 out of 10, man. Up next, low poly map. Let's start with this one. This is the spawn. And it looks, it looks okay. It does look okay. Nothing too insane though and then we have the desert zone which legit looks like a different builder made it i think this desert zone is 10 times better than the spawn and i'll tell you why the spawn is very very flat the desert zone has elevation to it you could maybe walk around down here i'm not sure it looks like they're trying to avoid that but it just feels like there's more to do and more depth to the map overall so if i was rating this based off the desert zone i'd give it like a seven but the spawn really knocks it down so we're gonna go about a five for this just put together in my opinion the desert zone is quite a bit better than this spawn up next a low poly forest simulator map uh it looks good i wish there wasn't this blur on it because it definitely makes it a lot harder to see some of the details uh yeah i, I don't know what exactly else to say about it it does look good i like how you have textures on top but other than that i do wish we had some more angles i'm gonna go with the seven a sword looks pretty good to me long handle that is for sure i guess it's a long sword though i'm I'll go with the six on this one we got a toy train um it's all right i feel like when you start making toy uh, objects all the colors need to be like bright and vibrant these feel a bit muted which gives it an older look and it's supposed to be a toy so I think the colors are throwing it off a little bit for me. Other than that, we have some really smooth edges like this one and then this, but then some really harsh edges on everything else. So it doesn't really feel like it matches itself. I'm gonna go with the five out of 10 on this one, but I think it'd probably be a six or a seven if we bumped up the colors. Low poly ice kingdom. Uh, okay. Yeah, this... This is sick. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one. Uh, this is this is a 10. This is actually a 10 for me. Now, I do wanna clear something up. A lot of people go to the comments of these videos and say, how could he give that a six? It's better than something he could build, which is fair. You know, I can't build a lot of things, but this is just my opinion, guys. It's not like like what Roll Builder says is the golden. I mean, I am golden, but you know. <laughs> But yeah, I think this one's a 10, man. I genuinely like this a lot. I love the style. It's not like every other map. You know what I'm saying? If there's one thing you could take from this rating fan builds video, it's gonna be what makes a good simulator map. And if we look at this versus the spawn of that other one, this looks like every simulator map on Roblox. This, this looks like a bit higher quality of a game. I would definitely rather spend time in this one. Up next, we have a medieval low poly map. Okay. 
I like how you have the Roblox terrain mixed in with this. It's a style that I love, but I've never been able to do it correctly. But yeah, this looks pretty good. Not bad at all. I do feel like the lighting is a bit dark, but that's also just my bias, I think, because every time I do low poly, it's like, okay, bright, vibrant, fun, kids. Uh, and then this is obviously a medieval map, so it would need to be a little bit darker. So I think you did a great job, man. I'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10. Just some buildings. This looks sick, not gonna lie. I like this one better. These look really good, actually, man. Go with 9 out of 10. We have a low poly oasis, and the one thing I love about this build is the little amount of grass. A lot of people when they do builds like this, it's just sand, right? A desert build. And I think it's very nice to add those hints of grass, especially around the water. Just gives a little bit more life to the scene. It doesn't make it seem as dull. I think we're going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Here we go. We got the guy with the portal build. Now, I know it's a the guy build every time I see it because his lighting is very specific. It's it's nice, but weirdly toned back, like like whitewashed almost, like like a like a white overlay over everything. And it doesn't look bad. It's just unique, which I guess is pretty good. If every builder had one unique thing, well, maybe Roblox would look a little different than the same game over and over. Anyways, <laughs> this looks really good, man. I think we'll give this one, uh, let's do a 7.5 or an 8. I do like it, and I can't exactly figure out what I don't like about it, but there's something. Like, it's, uh, I feel like a Roblox player couldn't actually get up these steps. They seem very tall. <laughs> Maybe that's just, like, the trick of, like, how it's built. I don't know. But, uh, it, it just seems like these are very tall in comparison to everything. Still looks like a great build, though. City and town role play. All right, this looks pretty cool. Little football field nice. Landon's Auto Shop. Okay, okay. Brookwood City. Got a logo for the game. And then another racetrack. Overall, I think this is a real nice, simple style. And I don't use simple to say bad. I mean, simple just as like enough. Like there doesn't need to be a ton more added. I think overall, I'm going to go with a seven. Up next, we got Sem. I love the fish in the water with the extra splash right here that is very very nice we got a teddy bear catching a fish also very nice i wish we had a bit more wide angle of the map but we don't so that's okay that is that kind of just ruins the map in my opinion <laughs> you ugly bird <laughs> Now, I'm wondering if this is a tower defense map. I kind of see a straight path back here, which does make me feel like it's a tower defense map, but I genuinely can't tell. Overall, I think I'm going to give the build a six or a seven. Up next, we got a nice. <laughs> this build looks very impressive. You have such a weird mix of textures with these really nice, high quality textures with the rock, the stone, and then these really low, low poly like checkerboards. And it just works like it's very very, very nice. Let me look at these other pictures. It just looks like a very nice build. I like your trees too. Those just look cool. I think I'm going to have to give this one a 10 out of 10. There's nothing that I see that I don't like about it. At first, it was a little thrown off by the uh, difference in textures, but it just works. Like, I don't know why or how, but uh, I think overall, it does look really good. Up next, we got a 3D modeled car. I'd say it looks good, man. It, there's no shading issues that I can see. Got all the body lines, all the details. And since there's nothing I could really add or think of changing about it i guess you get a 10 out of 10 maybe add some color you could uh get a nine <laughs> We got a low poly blacksmith build right here, which I really like. I love the target on the side. I feel like that's a detail a lot of people would just kind of skip over and not really think about. I'm gonna go seven out of 10. A low poly house. Let's just skip down to the colored ones of this. I think overall, it does look pretty good. Couple things throwing me off, just how the back, like this portion, and I don't know if it could just be the lighting, but this portion isn't orange like the rest of the roof. And it's also like the bottom roof is curved and this one is like, like pointed like this and the other one is like this i, I can't really do my hands <laughs> so that's a little strange but the build doesn't look too bad i think i'm gonna go with a five on this one a very nice low poly asset pack this one's by void you have a very cute sort of balloon play-doh like style except on this crate here i feel like this crate doesn't really exactly match everything but it, it fits pretty well definitely a cute asset pack great lighting great colors i think we're gonna go with like a seven or an eight crady low poly simulator map uh, nothing too, too extravagant. Of course, I do like the castle. I think that's pretty cool. 
cool, but past that, it just is feeling like a pretty normal simulator map. I do like the lines that you have, sort of the uh, the dark and light lines. I added those into my game, which I don't think that video is actually out yet, so we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, this does look pretty good overall, but doesn't really stick out solo as its own, you know, brand new AAA simulator, but it looks pretty good. I do like how in the VIP zone, you added some gold hills, so it's not all just green with some weird random gold piles, and you also have some gems or crystals coming out. That does look pretty cool, and I'll give you a couple extra points for that. I think overall, for this build, we're gonna go with a 7 out of 10. A tycoon about building a garden center by Stop Mo Gamer. You Yo, this looks really, really good. It's a bit more on the simple side than like the good simple. Like I feel like there, it could be elevated by maybe just some textures on the roof or walls, but the build itself does look really good in my opinion. I'm gonna go with a seven or an eight. Oh wow, a simulator type map. This one's by Blue Shadow. The map itself doesn't, it doesn't look bad, but it does. Let me, let me give you a few of the tips that I'm seeing right off the bat. First things first, lighting. Um, uh, there's a very right way to do lighting in a dark simulator map. I don't think this is it. Your gradients are very, very harsh. So all the darks are almost black and all the lights, I mean, they're good simulator colors, but it makes it look like just the top half of your map is lit up and the ground is really dark. And I don't think that's really the vibe to go for, for a dark simulator map. I have seen a couple people do it very, very well, but I think this map, the gradients are a bit too harsh and the lighting is just, I would throw the lighting away and maybe give it another shot. I think we're going to go a four out of 10 on this map, not because of the builds altogether, but because of the gradients on these trees specifically, and then the lighting overall on the map. Just, it's not really pleasurable to look at. We are back on the subject of good simulator builds versus simulator builds. And once again, I'm going to scroll back up and show you guys, we just saw this castle, right? And it's pretty cool overall. But when we scroll down to the one we're rating now, bro, I would so much rather jump into game and play at this shop than that castle. And they have a sick, oversized, fun look, man. I genuinely would play this game. In fact, I want to play it right now. Send me the link, please. <laughs> this is a 10 out of 10 in my eyes. I love the oversized, low poly look. It just, you killed it, man. I think your lighting is great. Color choices are great. Uh, this, yeah. I'd say this is fantastic. All right, here is another simulator map. We're back to uh, pretty much the, the standard simulator map. I will say your shop doesn't seem to have enough importance. Like this chest seems way more important than this shop because it's just bigger. Overall, it's okay. It looks like you're a bit newer of a builder. My simulator maps still are pretty bad too. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> I think this looks okay. Definitely could use a bit more variation. Maybe a little wider of zones too. They feel very, very crowded, but with not enough assets to crowd them. So overall, yes, just basic simulator map. I think I'm gonna give this one a four or a five. And then it looks like the last thing we have is it's in low poly island. I'm trying to make some builds to build a portfolio. Well, I think this is a a pretty good first build for your portfolio. Everything looks okay. I would suggest adding like a beam light to your lighthouse that actually goes around. It just helps with the whole vibe of the scene and helps bring it to life a little bit. Your dock seems absolutely massive. If we look at how long and thick this piece of wood is versus a tree, kind of, kind of crazy, especially these trees. So I think sizing is a bit weird. It looks like you committed to like the undersized or realistic and then tried to throw oversized in with it. It just sizing overall looks a little weird. Lighting is pretty all right. Right. Colors are okay. I think I'm gonna go with a six on this one. But guys, that is gonna wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and you wanna see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.